Twitch released a video editor. Wait, really? Weren't they saying they didn't want to focus on clips? Well, I'm glad because this makes it easier to post on TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or any other platform. First, we need to start off making a clip of our channel. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our channel by clicking on our icon and go to channel. We're going to click on video. And then here we see our recent broadcasts. Here, for example, we have a broadcast for me. So if we found something in our broadcast that we want to clip, we're going to click on this icon here. Brings us to another page. And then we're going to clip the part that we want to clip. I want to start there. Going pretty, pretty okay. So I want to clip that. Okay. We call it Can't Find the Stairs. And we're going to publish it. Now we're going to go back to our other tab right here. And we're going to click on our icon again and go to creator dashboard. What you can also do is click on your icon and immediately go to video producer. Here on the left, we're going to go to content video producer. These are the clips you've made. And if you click on channel, they should be the ones that are made of your channel. If we click on your channel. So for me, true. Here we go. Only for my channel. And this is a clip we made, but there's tons of other clips here that you can also use that have been made before. We're going to do it with a clip we just made. So we're going to click on that and click on edit and share clip. New window will pop up. Okay, we just can't find the stairs. Going to mute it for now. And we're going to put this here. So this is a box that your camera is in. So you can make this box bigger or smaller, whatever you want. Make sure that you have your face visible. And then with this one, we're going to select the gameplay, which we're going to see here. We can also do full camera and then we only see the gameplay and don't see our head. But I like to include my head, even though I'm wearing something silly and I have a lot of googly eyes on my face. <laughs> and then here we have a toggle to include our, our username or not. It is pretty big if you ask me. It could have been a little bit smaller, but it's a good way to promote your Twitch like this. And if we keep this on, it will remember where this square and this square were at. So the next time you upload a video, it will be at the same position, which makes it easier to upload a new video. Now we're going to click on next. It's going to render our clip. We're going to see our clip here on the left and it's going to take a while to render. You can also connect our YouTube accounts to immediately share it to YouTube shorts, connect to YouTube. We're going to need to sign in with our YouTube channel. I'm not going to show you that. I don't want to be hacked again. If you haven't seen the video where I got hacked, Watch this one because I will explain everything in there so you don't get hacked too. And now you're going to give it permission. And then here what we can do is we're going to give it a title and a description. And we can set it on private, unlisted or public. So can't fight the stairs. Our description could be can't fight the stairs in Stardew Valley. Uh, game, gameplay video of Stardew Valley. And then I'll just like to include some hashtag shorts. Because then YouTube knows it's a shorts, right? I'm not going to put it on public, but I'm going to put it on private instead. You can also do unlisted if you want to send the link to people. But I'm going to put it on private. The reason why I'm going to put it on private instead, because if I put it on private, I can set more details than just this. I can also fill in the game, for example, and add tags to the video. We can also download the clip right here by clicking on this button. I definitely recommend using Chrome instead of Firefox because, well, it opens in a new tab and with Chrome it will just start downloading and it will keep this tab open. If you use Firefox, like I do right now, you need to still right click and click save video as. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it on private and share it to YouTube. Here we go. It's gonna take a bit. If you're using Firefox, I recommend you use download clip button after you've done this on YouTube because it opens in this step and you can get back here. This is the shorts link, but let's just go take a look at YouTube. Before we continue, I want to say I have a Discord server. If you have any questions, feel free to jump into the Discord server and ask them or just find mutual streamers that you can become friends with. The link is down below in the description. I'm here in the creative studio of my gameplay YouTube channel and here if we go to content, so it did pop up here and like you see, this is just the description, what we filled in in Twitch, but we can still select playlist, we can add tags and stuff like that in here too. Here's tags, you can say which game it is and stuff like that. So if I go to one of my other shorts, you can see that I have the playlist shorts in there and I also have some tags in here and I have the click game in here. I know it's Tears of the Kingdom, but for some reason YouTube has it as Bread of the Wild sequel. I didn't do that, okay? Th this is this is all YouTube, not me. So I do recommend always putting it on private first so you can add some more information in the video and maybe schedule it or immediately upload it. But at least it has like all the information instead of like just the thing that you put in on Twitch. And that's it. If you click done now, it's, it's actually done. You can also still download the clip here by clicking on download and you'll get it in the normal resolution. And you can still share it on, on platforms like Twitter as like 
a normal clip instead of a vertical one if you want that. If you want to know how to delete a clip, I do have a video about that too right here. So let's jump into this video and I will see you right there. And don't forget to stream smarter, not harder.